All right, before we get into side-by-side -side revival today, we gotta talk a little bit about reviving your body as well. We've been guilty for far too long of just eating trash food out of pure convenience, but we've solved that problem recently and have been eating Factor. Factor provides you with quick, ready to go in two minutes, fresh, never frozen meals that are actually good for you. And the problem with convenience, they solve it. They send this stuff right to your door. You can customize your meal selection. You can customize your schedule. There's no more excuses for eating that garbage. You wouldn't put crap fuel into your side-by-side. -side. Don't put crap fuel into your body. All you gotta do is head to factor75.com. Use code SIDEBYSIDEBLOG50 Get yourself 50% off your first box of Factor and 20% off your next box of Factor. Select your meals, select your schedule, cook yourself some good stuff. Don't treat yourself poorly anymore. You're better than that. So again, go to factor75.com, use code side by side blog 50 for that 50% off your first box, 20% off your second box, or go to the link in the description below. Get signed up. I promise you, it's it's, it's worth it. Treat yourself well, you know? And then uh, watch us try to treat some side-by-sides well. <laughs> it's always windy out here, but that's okay. We're not gonna be outside long. We got, <laughs> we got, a, little, we got a little recovery uh, action going on today, potentially mm -hmm. on multiple rigs. So Matt, first first. I think you're best to explain what, what potentially happened to this rig. Yeah, so you guys probably saw in the last video that this thing did not want to be water skipped. At the very last minute, <laughs> it decided mm -mm, it was running perfect. Everything was good. I fixed the secondary clutch on it. Yep. But now it seems to have an issue with the primary or the crankshaft broken half. Something we bad happened. Yet. So we let it, you know, sit out here for a couple days and think about its actions. Yeah, you have to. And right. uh, we're just going to pull it up onto the trailer, take it back to the shop and see what happened. Yeah, we want to get on this thing. The old whistling diesel razor. Honestly, it was it was shining. It was it was becoming a star. It was yes. working way better than you would anticipate it working Jeez. considering its history. So all right, we're gonna throw this thing on the trailer, get it back to the shop, and then see what kind of carnage we got hiding under there. All right, the boys got recovery on the mines. Just trying to, <laughs> you trying to <laughs> recover another unit while we're out here? So we're talking about this one? This is a cool this, old mower. It is a cool old mower. This is a freaking Groundmaster. The old Toro Groundsmaster. Can't tell anymore, but that's a 7200, I think. 72 inch deck. Little three cylinder. She runs, dude. It's part of the earth now. So. I think it was a three cylinder. I don't even. Is it a four cylinder? Who's to say? It has some number of cylinders. This is what you want, huh? Oh, no. We were talking about that. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Which Man. one is a better choice? <laughs> This thing, oh my gosh. Unless you guys have been around for a long time, you probably have not seen this sucker before. This is one of the early Evolution Power Sports development vehicles. Wildcat X with a Suzuki Z1 engine in it and a big turbo. It's actually an absolute beast. I don't remember what the specs were on it, it's supposed to make like 350 horsepower and uh i don't know we did some stuff with it way back in the day put a better cooling system on it drove it around a little bit <laughs> ultimately and, it just didn't work the way we wanted it to. <laughs> it didn't but it could it and could. I, we just never really That's put the effort key. into it yeah so i don't know I yeah i want to should... see this thing running again yeah. all right all right pretty much is this a fuel I'm... tank yeah, custom is. fuel cell. Is this an open out inlet? It is. There was tape and a zip tie. Hmm. It's disintegrated. Well, that's not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go deal with this whistling diesel razor, and then uh, I think we'll come back and see if we can revive this puppy. Look at that steering wheel cover. I mean, that cover held up pretty awesome. <laughs> <honestly>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! All right, we're back. Matt's going at the clutch cover. You guys want to take bets on what's going on here? 
I was gonna say we should guess real quick while I'm doing this. So what we know is the last time it was started, it would run, it would not move, it would rattle, and then when you shut the engine off, something continued to spin inside the clutch cover, so. Yeah, it was not good. I'm guessing the primary bolt came loose or broke. Okay, okay. That's my guess. That's what my money's on too. I don't think <laughs> the crankshaft is broken up. I, I think it's gonna be worse than you guys are thinking. Okay. Because I swear it dropped the cylinder when I was driving it before the clutch issues happened. <laughs> oh, it, so, oh, it did. Oh, no, it did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna say outer half of the clutch has come off. Outer half, so be careful when you take this but, off. <laughs> these aren't like two piece, I don't think. There's like a nut. Really? I don't know, we'll see. Is that the last bolt? I'm thinking so. Oh boy. Oh okay. boy. You guys ready? It could be a moment here. Could be nothing. Uh oh. Interesting. It looks fine, which is not good. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Oh, boys. We might be okay. The bolt is still good. Did the spider just come unthreaded? I don't know. Yeah, I don't I'm not too familiar with these clutches. I think the spiders on these thread on. They need a okay, little more light to so see in there. Little, that's good news. The whistling diesel razor might live again. What the freak is that, dude? She did a little rubbing. A little. There's a little evidence. A little. That's not good. Did you run a <laughs> material analysis on that? What'd you find? Clutch. Oh, yeah. I think there's more uh, evidence on the bottom of the. When he opened I it do up. see some stuff. Quite sitting. a bit of stuff there. Some stuff has happened. Metal. Ugh. Explosions. Dude. I think she just came unthreaded. Question will be: Can we thread it back on? How much damage was done? All right, Matt's got his primary bolt out. She's out. <sighs> we. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. That Ooh. is not supposed to happen. I think the threads said goodbye inside of this. Oh, can we see in Oh, there? she's, oh. Oh. She's shattered. It's broken, eh? Yeah. Interesting. The, what is that, the stem? That's the stem, so That's we see, come on, focus on there. All right, there's some aluminum in the threads on the stem. Not great. There's a... There's the nut that used to retain the spider. It's a nut. There's I don't want to stick my fingers something. in there just yet. <laughs> All right, let's pop that cover apart and take a closer look here. Oof. Oh boy. Matt's disassembling the clutch without having to take bolts out. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> the threats are gone, though. Oh, crap. Hmm. Do we have the parts to fix it? Oh. That piece looks okay. So, now you can see better inside of there, I think. Oh yeah, the threads are absolutely... Crunchered. Let's see, we get some light on the subject. Focus on this camera, just, it doesn't, it has a hard time focusing on focusing. It really doesn't focus on. It's like, ah, I, I don't know. <laughs> focusing is kind of like a secondary. <laughs> it's just did it again. Anyways, threads in the spider are junk. I don't know if we have any of those around. Yeah, we don't have another. Would we have another or not. razor? A 1K clutch? On, from anything? I don't think so. But that's okay. Not that big a deal. Crankshaft didn't snap in half. Mike reads here. The whistling diesel razor can live again. I just Pop don't know if it can dude. live again today. Pop the hood, dude. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Every yeah. time it moves it more stuff falls well. out. <laughs> You'll have that. <laughs> oh yeah, they're oof. That's that's where the chungus among us is. Yep. Yep. Good tolerances on that tower though. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker is just shattered. I wonder what. Caused that. that. Yeah, I'm curious now whether it, you know, just straight up unthreaded and then this damage was done as a result of it banging around and spinning in there, or whether it cracked first and then came loose. But all right, we can fix this. I don't think we can fix it today because I don't think we have one of those. I think we should just go get that Wildcat with the Z1 engine in it. 
and see if we can have fun with that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're moving on to recovery number two. We're back for the wildcat. So Steve actually has some ideas for this thing that might have something to do with some junk that's sitting over there. But for now, I think let's just get this back to the shop. See if we can get it fired up. See if we can get it running. Maybe do a burnout. Just listen to it. Mm -hmm. It's right. gonna work great, or it's gonna end up back. <laughs> <laughs> So this sucker, relatively intact. We know that the gas tank lid was stolen. Probably. This is likely full of water. Yeah. So definite what, problem. When was this? I mean, that was when the two-stroke first got put together. Yeah, there was a lot so of years. Water. So that was probably like <laughs> 20, 21 or something like that. Hmm. So yeah, so we know we need to drain the fuel, get some fresh fuel in it, check the oil, charge the battery. That might be enough to get it to start. Do you think the battery's still alive? That'd be incredible. Yeah, I mean, might have to replace a battery, but... You never know with these things. I bet you if we just put a little fresh... Never mind. This is going to be a <laughs> great new trail car for you, dude. Great new trail yeah, car. Yeah, dude, yeah, there's no Oh, rear yeah, seats. put the rear seats no, in it. The baby's going to ride in here. seats in it. No, no, my kids don't like this. Are you sure? Yeah, no, this, I talked to him this morning. Oh, yeah. not into it, eh? Like, what do you think about this? And then they both stared at me and then started crying, so I knew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going after the fuel pump here. Plan is pull the fuel pump out, get uh, whatever combination of liquids are in that gas tank out, potentially clean the bottom of it. So she'll take some fresh fuel. I, th I honestly think this thing's gonna fire up and run. I think so too. It might not be a combination of fluids in there though. It might just be just straight water <laughs> straight water all the gas is gone all right well matt's doing that i'll grab the battery charger see if there's any chance this old battery is going to take a charge <laughs> start checking other fluids so this is encouraging okay this return line you see all this fluid here yep it smells like actually fresh 110. wow okay so, i don't know maybe this isn't that bad oh boy fuel pump a little stuck, stuck. there you go <laughs> well, if you look at that. I mean, that's not looking terrible. Fuel filter doesn't appear to have mold growing on it, so. What do you think? Definitely some crud in there. <laughs> There's a little sludge. Oh, yeah. It's there a little it extra green looking. There's some algae, I think. There's some stuff you don't want in your gauze in there, but. Not a bunch of like chunks or anything. Honestly, better than I was expecting. The focus on this camera, I'll tell you. Okay, there's a shot. Yeah, all right, we'll get that drained out of there. Definitely, definitely some algae growth. There's some new species in there that uh, survive on gas. Yeah, we won't pump that stuff into the injectors. <laughs> okay, tank's cleaned out. Matt's putting some fresh 110 in her. Fun. We got the fuel pump. We just cleaned the filter out a little bit. Didn't have a new one on hand. Got the water out of it. Sprayed it out. Gonna put it back in. Battery's charging. Double check the oil. What did which, you see on that? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. No nothing. Oil? There was no oil on the dipstick. But it is a dry sump setup. Maybe it ran out and is <laughs> sitting in the engine and we'll come back. So further investigation needed on the oil situation, but she's gonna go boys she's gonna go we're getting an audience for this deal it's getting exciting the gallery's forming Matt <laughs> what is this your parents front porch I can bust up snacks dude hard-boiled eggs we're good to go Mike's sitting here eating hard-boiled eggs watching the Z1 power wildcat about to fire up he's living a life oh, can you I live mean, a I can honestly tell you all I have peaked in life you are peak right now so. <laughs> Oh, Fresh fuel is in it. Oil is in it. Coolant's checked. That's good. Battery's been charging. It's probably not back to light yet, but Matt's grabbed the jump pack, and I think we're going to try to crank this thing and see yeah. if it'll come to life. We rolled the clutch over by hand. Engine is free. No issues there. I think we're good to go. So, <laughs> who wants to do the honors? 
on this. I mean, Steve Ma had to withstand that friggin' fuzzy steering wheel. You, know, you, do it. you did have to do fuzzy steering wheel. Do you want to start it? Yeah. All right. All right, try it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Are you serious? Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, she's back, boys. You know, I had. Is it? It almost wanted to idle there for a second. I mean, she's blowing some stuff out. It's been a minute. Is that idle? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Unreal. Unreal. I'm trying to get the like a truck. Man. Alright, we got, we got some. We got a fuel leak there. Fuel leakage, it looks like. Okay. Alright, so not perfect. That's not bad but though, it runs. Pretty good. See this. Uh, there's like a solenoid block down here with vacuum lines going to it. Boost lines. Probably duty cycling. All right. Well, we'll fix the fuel leak. I mean, it seemed like it was going to run. Okay, yeah, it's good... it's stalled, but yeah, yeah. it hasn't run in years. So. so probably still working water and fuel through it. All right, we'll fix that leak. We'll continue to let the battery charge. Maybe we'll get these tires swapped out. Don't Try to rip me. this thing around a little bit. No, Contact. No, nah, it's just, Sorry. It's just on the camera. Alright. Boys ready? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Does, does it move under its own power? I think it will. I think the clutches were okay. Oh yeah, that's it, I think. I think it might have a spicy engagement. All right, watch out, Mike. Oh! oh it. Hold on. <laughs> what happened? Uh, you're just not in a gear that you're supposed to be in. It was just. Your uh, gear called miscellaneous. I'm not there. Oh, okay, that looks like it might have popped in. So that's park. Supposed to be. Wait, that's park? I don't that's know. Park. I would just leave it where it is and try it. Yeah, it looks like it'll definitely first. move. Yeah, this That's is a spot you want to be yeah, watching here. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, okay. Wow. This is a real moment, actually. She's moving. Okay. Turbo. Turbo still spins. Look at that thing, just prowling. He's out there prowling. A little bit of body roll, you'll have that. All right. Sounds great. Sounds great. <laughs> it's at least, I mean, it's not billowing smoke. Okay, okay. She's breaking up a little bit, she's popping. I seem to remember that from the last time we tried to drive this unit. We never really determined what that was, but Matt, how do you feel, dude? Well, that was pretty neat. It's uh, it's got some bugs. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if we can turn this little tune knob. I think it's turned all the way down. Maybe down is all the way up. Maybe down is up. It's in like the number one position. That's like, just the exhaust. That's the exhaust. Yeah. Would the breaking up actually be rubbing around this? Is it turned up too much? Like, this isn't looking that bad. I mean, yeah, there's some crankcase <laughs> ventilation happening, but it hasn't soaked the filter in oil. We should probably tape this off again. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Smart. Uh, so do you feel like it was a high range or low range? That was definitely high. Okay. Okay. It felt like it was high. So high is all the way forward. High is all the way forward. Oh. Articat, dude. No, combined with Polaris. Combined with Polaris. Oh. You take an Articat shifter, you put it with Polaris transmission. You get high in the middle. Hmm. Park is next to it, then low. Something reverse. 
Yeah. <laughs> let me just like let me turn that knob, the okay. tune knob, all the way in the yeah. other direction. Okay. okay. See what happens. Let's see what it does. Send it, dude. So right, before this sets on fire. Something else to look at though. Before we forget again is we guesstimated that it might have a broken engine mount. Now there is a horrendous rattle on diesel. Yeah. So <laughs> the engine the engine moves a lot. And I think we noticed it just before we put it away and never really checked it. That's coming off. So I'm not saying we need to check it now, but we should at some point. Oh, it's definitely got a motor on it. Oh, yeah. Motor. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely got a motor on Motor's trying to exit the building. But that's, that's almost good because that could solve some of our problems. Yeah. If the motor's flopping around, slipping the belt, doing whatever, and that's maybe it's hitting the rev limiter, who knows. I think he turned the knob he in the other the direction. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah. Rolling? That was crazy. That might have been big boy too. Oh, it seems to like that. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> I'm just one more position. Okay, okay. Such a cool shot that got ruined by that telephone pole. <laughs> what a man! What a pile! <laughs> you sell? You're not selling the new X3, you mean? As long as you ride that edge of over boost, yep. you're good. This thing's it's pretty controllable, honestly, with a, in a drift. Yep. But there's no. I feel like if you get the tail out too far, Chain there's not back. nearly enough steering radius. Yeah. You, steering ain't, you ain't bringing her back. Oh yeah, I remember the. Turning radius on these things. Steering angle, terrible. Yeah, the angle. That was a sweet drift. Horrible. It I was went into out the grass, there. Though. Yeah, you really gave it to the grass. But... That was the coolest this machine has ever <laughs> looked. Yeah. Like, honestly. <laughs> all right, save it. Uh, all right, so you guys want to bring it in? Maybe see if we can sort a couple of these little issues. Yeah. Fast forward to the following day. We're doing some quality work here. Matt's getting the gas tank sealed up. He ordered this cap all the way from Japan, dude. The sucker's overnighted, dude. It's gonna add at least another, six or seven more minutes of runtime. Another Alibaba unit there. Uh, so did a couple things. We found some loose motor mounts, just some bolts that have backed out. We tightened those up. Uh, Mike Reed's on a side quest down there. He's apparently <laughs> traded some RC car parts. That, that guy's, that guy's he's off. He's on his own path. He's on his own path. He's off in the ether, but. <laughs> so we've tightened some motor mount bolts up and we're hoping that solves the issue of the uh, engine trying to exit the chassis under any sort of power. And then Matt has gone in, gotten rid of some old cobble boost controller that was thrown in there and uh, just tied the boost reference line straight to the wastegate actuator. So we're hoping we're now controlling boost a little bit. We can test this thing on spring only and just see if that yeah. solves any we'll issues. We'll see what the base pressure is and if it runs right on said pressure. Right. And if it does, we got a little bit better of a boost controller to put in there. Yeah. So. Slightly better. <laughs> Slightly. Not much better. Slightly. But then we can start cranking her back up and it's find at least that, find that edge and then back her off and yeah. edge. We'll be good to hit, hit the dunes. Dang it. Today's the day she decided to die. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. Started on its own battery power. I mean, that's at least something positive. Look at that. Did just catch a gear there? <laughs> you know, she needs to warm up a little bit. Oh, man, Boy. that sound still hasn't gotten better. All right, it's not completely sorted yet, oh, but... <laughs> okay. I mean, she makes some noise on the D-cell, but... That's interesting, yeah. But... That could just be, like, that clutch cover or some... Panels. Oh, there's no clutch cover. Well, not cover, I mean housing. 
<sighs> on 15 pounds, she's not bad. That was 15 pounds. It's running clean. Okay, so it's we clean. are actually controlling the boost now. Yeah, I might play with the knob a little bit again. There is a horrendous rattle on diesel. Yeah. 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 It sounds like a, a, like a skill saw. Yeah. yeah. So People from uh, Bay City, 20 miles away, phoned in, <laughs> and they're like, man, we hear that rattle. I think it's that... I think it's that shield, like for the belt. Yeah, yep. It's your call if I should you see something there. There's rubbing r right there. Can you see that? I can see. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Like it looks if like it was, if, if it was coming all the way out here, how would that happen? Hmm. But that does look fresh. Yeah, maybe when the clutch is shifting out, it's just hitting that. Man, oh, I cannot yeah. focus on it. But when the clutch shifts, that back sheave moves yeah. inboard. It's probably just hitting that. Just bend that out. We'll just try to bend that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Maybe we'll check the transmission fluid. Yeah. We're making we're making progress here. This yeah. is progress. Yeah. All right. So uh, we got the clutch shield bolted back on more correctly. Hopefully that fixes our big cell rattle. Matt's just gonna go out and make some more hits with this sucker. See if she's still running clean. And then maybe we'll try to talk them into turning the boost up a little bit. Just but. baby steps. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Little... There's still a little rattle, but it's not. It's not critical. We know what it is. Probably just need to like actually modify that shield. But. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is the definition of body roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah it's like the handling is way less. So we're gonna need improvement. Yeah, and I think this is I mean this is the longest it's run in one stint. Certainly since we've had it. Oh yeah. Big brake kit's working. Alright. Man. So I've made some discoveries. Okay. Seems like setting one on this DSP switch or whatever it's called yep. is the best. Okay. It seems the most responsive. You can hear the turbo a lot more. I'm sure you could hear like on setting four, it broke up a little bit yep. coming around the corner. Of course, that might be because we put like half a gallon of fuel in it. Yeah, it could be sloshing. As well. Certainly. But uh, hey. yeah, I think if everything seems okay, the rattle's still there. Yeah. Course, but yeah. Might just have to just modify or change that shield at some point. But better self clearance maybe. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna like just go from a dig back there. I'd watch that. And see what it does, yeah. and then we can throw that boost controller in. It seems on this gauge like it's running like 15 to 18 pounds. Okay. Yeah, and I like feel solid. like on 110 these engines should be able to take what, 30 yeah yeah and we don't really know the details of the build here like this is not a stock engine oh okay oh it's not it's not so no so i don't know if it's it low up. compression right I, yeah i'm i'm in favor turn it up till it breaks I'm up in favor. back her down a notch like you know like you like this this is incredible honestly <laughs> that's the longest this thing has ever run and it's not puking a bunch of fluids it's not smoking it's not starting on fire it's a little bit of smoke you know but yeah, like it, it's not just horrendously puking oil the thing's good it does smell like nachos it's gross and weird <laughs> <laughs> It says it's the donut time. It's the only time in the city. Did you put it in the right mode for him? I hope he's he's gonna feel it out a little bit. No, he but... said he's gonna feel it out a little bit. Okay. Did you put it in the right mode? Yeah, I worry about the fuel level a little bit because it's gonna slosh to slosh the side. Slosh to the side. But uh, take it, Matt. Let's just see. It, you know? Yeah, add baffles. Yeah, it was pretty baffling. Matt, you're a funny guy these I'm, days. I'm getting out of the way. I don't yeah, know. yeah, I don't know. Big car. <laughs> okay, I don't know, man.
power. <laughs> that guy feels the power right now, dude. That guy will vote the power. Dude, that foot's got legs, man. <laughs> Jeepers, creepers. Man, I got a rock right to the nads, dude. Yeah. I got some rocks in my eyeballs. That was really good. That was. <laughs> Creepers. That's probably the low fuel level. Yeah, making her pop. But wow, that was that was excellent. That honestly, was really cool. Yeah, that was excellent. Man, yeah, I didn't I didn't trust myself to do that. <laughs> It's just like, it's such a weird car. Because it, it does car. things really well. <laughs> and then... <laughs> that front tire was just doing nothing. <laughs> A rip, my Honestly, man. <laughs> this thing's kind of great. Yeah, it drifts really good. Yeah, it drifts really well. I think it is starting to get low on fuel. Yeah, yeah and I assume seems... that's what that you know popping is yeah. when you try to throw it into a corner. But once you get used to the length and the absolute lack of steering angle, yeah, you know, dude, and how long it takes for the boost to come on. Once you start to comprehend those things, like you can really. I feel like you could slide this Wrangle thing around. it, yeah, that like, was sweet. It really <laughs> was a, it's a big car, dude. That's a, that's a big win, yeah. honestly, for yeah. this thing. To pull it out of the weeds after years and just be doing that. It's yeah. pretty cool. So. That's awesome. Good job, man. Yeah, let's... I, it'll be for another video, but we're going to turn it up, get her to the limit, back her off a little, and then just, I don't know, I kind of want to take it to the tomb. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think we should just take our win for today, yeah, and experience it a little more, and then we'll turn it up. But. I mean, overall, you guys My took eyes a... are water. Uh, pure speed. Oh, <laughs> <all, laughs> yeah. Really. You took a machine that had been sitting in a field for four years? Yeah. Four, uh, probably exactly. four years. Probably. Yeah. probably. And it just started up. You guys just took care of it and started up. And I just love the historical significance of this machine yeah. too you know this is where kind of like where evo power sports was just beginning yeah you know and this was going to be the future but then turbo machines came out from the factory yeah, and then the future came it just made sense to yeah. modify those instead oh, it's, it's easy to poke fun at you know now that things have changed so much in the market but really when this thing was put together you know it was badass yeah it's she's actually a bad super unit. legit so yeah. Heck yeah, I think we're out of here for today. Thank you guys for everything, as always. Thank you for watching these videos and sticking with us and subscribing and donating on Patreon and buying those parts, buying through that Rocky Mountain link, hitting all the other affiliate links. We got fresh merchandise coming next video. It's going to be a big one. And uh, don't forget, race day coming up soon, May 11th. Come see us there. Hang out. Have a good time. It's going to be a big party. See you guys back here in a few days. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. See you guys. See ya.